G'day everyone. So as you know, I enjoy using Prima Luce, Prima Luce. Is it Prima Luce? I think it is. Prima Luce products. Um, the Eagle 4 computer, the dovetail plates, um, what else? Uh, the Echo, um, the only thing I actually, oh, the cover motors, how can I forget that? The cover motors, uh, um, the uh, flat panel, so the Alto, the Giotto, Eagle 4, Echo. The only thing I actually don't have of Prima Luce stuff is the uh, the focus motors but that's uh yeah that's okay anyway i'm getting completely off topic because i would like to uh say a big thank you to uh felipe at uh, prima leach lab um for allowing me to test their dual driver for the alto uh and flat panel uh, motors and setup um i reached out to uh to prima Luce and uh and asked if they were going to release a, a driver for um uh dual uh rigs uh for the alto and uh and giotto and um they said that they were working on a driver for it um but it was going to be uh, a little bit um because they were working on something else and they fast tracked that and sent me out the driver to test. Uh, well, it was a lot of fun uh, testing that driver. Um, the first uh, iteration, there was an issue. Um, so the the uh, the problem we had there was that um, in Nina, because it was the ASCOM version, because uh, if you use the uh, the Eagle, uh, sorry, the Play software, um, everything works fine um, for uh, dual rigs. Um, so the, the ASCOM driver um, is what I'm referring to here, and because I like to use Nina, um, that's, uh, that's why. Now the, uh, you, can, you can set up, um, so there's two drivers, uh, two setups um, in it, uh, or like, um, like an Alto 1 and an Alto 2. And they save the different COM ports um, to them, so there's no problems there in, in connecting um, with two separate setups. Uh, it's just when you went to open up um, the cover motor, uh, what would happen is that it would open up, the button would stay on, um, and you couldn't close it, but then all of a sudden my CPU usage would go to 100%. Uh, so there seemed to be, I think there was a possible some sort of leak um, there, and I, uh, I sent a, the video uh, made a quick video on that and sent it to uh, Felipe, uh, showing him exactly what was going on um, with the setup. And uh, then I think it was at uh, at Neff, um, and uh, and after that he uh, reached out to me and uh, and said that they got a, a new driver um, for me to try out, and I tried it out and it works great, <laughs> great and. Uh, he also, um, so after a, about a week of testing that, um, everything worked as it should. And uh, I reached back out to um, uh, Felipe and just told him my, uh, how I felt about the driver um, and how it all works. And they've done a lot of testing themselves. And, uh, and yeah, it's, uh, it's now available uh, to download from the uh, Prima Luce website. Um, so if you have a dual imaging rig and you want to set up dual autos, and Giotto's, if that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> My Italian is not very good, sorry, um, but I'm trying. And uh, and you want to automate that whole session, um, then you can, you can do it now. Um, so yeah, I'm uh, really excited uh, to be um, able to uh, use these dual drivers. Um, unfortunately, with, uh, with I've got three uh, RASs, um, there won't be anything for that. So uh, that's fine. There's a workaround behind that and I use uh, the uh, Prima Luce Play software. So uh, I use one of them to control um, the motors, um, which is, is fine, it works. Um, it just means that uh, I've just got to do a little bit of manual, manual work. So I've got to be there and um, hit the button for, uh, for Rasa 3, but that's fine. I, uh, yeah, really happy. 
And uh, I just want to say a big thank you to uh, Felipe if you're watching um, for giving me that opportunity to uh, you know give you some feedback and test that uh, that driver out. And uh, for everyone else, uh, enjoy your dual rig uh, Prima Luce Alto Giotto flat frames um, imaging sessions <laughs> if you use uh, Ascom, Ascom driver and Nina. All right, well, uh, yeah, so that's it. Just a quick little video to uh, uh, give you guys a bit of an update as to uh, what's been sort of happening as well. And um, yeah, I'll speak to you soon. See you.